this is Cass with Mania Dog Training. Today we're going to teach Charlie how to walk on a treadmill. Now Charlie has been on the treadmill, I think twice now at this point, um, but it was a few months ago. He hasn't been on it since. So it's gonna, we're just going to go through how we teach a dog to get on a treadmill, get comfortable with it, and have positive associations with the treadmill. Um, so it's been a while for him on the treadmill. Um, we're just going to go through the basics from beginning to end. So the first thing we do, and anytime we're training a dog to use a treadmill at Mandy Dog Training, we get them used to getting on and off. And we use their morning or their evening meals to um, reward them. Every time they get on, we reward them. They get off, they get back on, we reward them, and they get off. So we start with the treadmill off, and we just work on getting on and off the treadmill. All right, let's go. Up. Oh, good boy. Good boy. And he works, he really works for um, affection, but I am going to give him one or two pieces of kibble. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah, see, he'd, he'd much rather have a pet on the head. Good boy. All right, good boy. All right. So that's good. If your dog works better for um, affection, then use affection, definitely. Um, if it works, if it needs to work for its food, then you, you can use its morning and evening kibbles. What I wouldn't do is use treats. Um, I always love to work, work my dog for their meals, and so um, I'm not getting close, or I'm not um, putting extra weight on them, or devaluing their meals, their actual kibble. I want to keep their kibble super exciting and super motivating, so I don't always have to have a treat or always upping the um, quality, or the you know, getting it high quality treats just to get my dog to work for me. So let's go. Oh, good boy. And see this dog, it's been a while since he's been on the treadmill. He's only been on, I think, twice. But he's gonna fly up here, because he, this dog loves to please. Good boy, all right, up. Good job. Good boy, Chuck, up. Oh, good boy. Good job. So we're gonna, get, we're gonna be able to get along farther or faster with him than maybe some other dogs. Let's go. Oh, good boy. No, no, off, off. Oh, he's ready. He's ready to work. Whatever, it's, whatever it is that we're gonna do. All right, let's go. Good boy, good job. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start. So the first thing you do is you want your treadmill to be facing or next to a wall if if you can. Um, it's really nice barrier for your dog, so there's only like one direction it can jump off if it does try to jump off. Um, I went ahead and installed this little um, wire crate divider that I got from one of the larger kennels that I have that I'm not using. And I just zip tied it to the front of the treadmill so the dogs can't jump through the front. And they can still see through, so it's not so it doesn't block their vision, um, but they can't break through it. And at the same time, eh, eh, nope, sit. At the same time, the back of the treadmill is into a corner or another wall. So the dog can't just pancake and slide off the back of the treadmill. Some dogs will try to pull that on you. Just as resistance to wanting to walk. So if you can find a little corner to put a treadmill in, that's like the best. If you have one of these kind of treadmills. If you have a one that's made for dogs that has a nice um, fencing or rails on the side, that's awesome. But for me, I just have this treadmill, so this is what I work with. So I'm going to stand, good boy. So I'm going to stand on this side of the treadmill and I'm going to kind of use my body as a barrier to keep him from jumping off. Good boy. And I'm going to use slow steady pressure forward as we start. As the treadmill starts to go, I'm going to use, uh, uh, sit, good boy. Slow steady leash pressure forward. And then when he walks up to where I'm at with the leash, I'll release the pressure. He may start to roll back. And when he does, I just pull forward with the leash again slowly and steady. Now, if he gets, if he's walking up to where I want him to be walking, which is about right there, then I'm just going to have a loose leash. So we'll see how this goes. All right, you ready? Now, I always start at the lowest level, but I, tr I quickly try to get up to 2.0, depending on the dog. If he just like takes to it really well, and I can build up or go up to 2.0 pretty quickly, then I'll do that. But some dogs are still a little iffy, 
and they need to go slow for a little bit. However, getting up to 2.0 is the, is the most um, casual pace for a dog and their stride and gait. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, good boy. And he, takes to, he took to it really well. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Uh -uh. Nope. So I'm going to put my foot right here to make sure he doesn't jump off. And he's just looking for it. So I'm going to go up to 2.0 now. Good boy. And that is a nice casual stroll for him. Good boy. Good boy. So what I like to do so I can have my dog on the treadmill while I'm working in the training facility, I have attached a leash to this inside part of the treadmill, inside rail, so I can leash him up, so I'll hurt this to his leash, so he, he can't necessarily jump off and walk away, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hook him up because he's not struggling at all, he's kind of walking on the far left side of the belt, but I think if I hook him up, he may learn, there we go. And it's still loose, it's not tight, it's not pulling forward at all, the sleep, the sleep over here. It's just pretty much maintaining where his spot and making sure he doesn't lag too far behind or too far ahead or jump off to the left. Which, I guess technically he can still jump off because it is loose enough, but it kind of gives just a little bit of a guidance. Now, if he was working for food, which we were going to in the beginning, but he might much rather work for praise right now than food. Um, if I was working him for food, and he had a, uh, he was nervous about the treadmill, um, about every 10 seconds, I would say good boy, and give him, give him a little kibble, and good boy, and give him a little bit of kibble. When he's super excited or anything, just a calm, good boy, you know, and give him a little bit of kibble. Um, but because he's super calm right now about the treadmill, which is a great, it was just great news and easy on my part. I'm not having to convince him to walk. He's pretty much enjoying walking. So he may be picking it up or remembering a couple months ago when he was on the treadmill. I'm not sure. But good results right now. So yeah, I can get a little bit, good boy. But I want to also practice walking away and then coming back up to him. Because if I walk, if he gets used to me always standing right by him on the treadmill, then you get a dog that starts to panic when you do walk off. So from the beginning, I'm going to train him that I'm not always standing by you when you're on the treadmill, and you're totally okay with me not standing right by you. Yep. So I think he's going to be okay, so I'm just going to walk away a little bit. And if need be, go back to your dog after a couple, 10 seconds, praise him, say good boy. Um, give him a little pat on the head if that doesn't disturb him too much, and then walk away again. But Charlie's a pretty solid dog. He's a pretty confident, solid dog. Um, he doesn't have um, really any issues, except he does have um, a bit of fear issues with children. Um, I don't think he, I don't have children, and he's never been raised with children or around children, honestly. So that might be part of the problem or the issue with him. Um, a dog like him, he could quick, easily overcome that. But I don't have a, I don't have children, so I haven't worked with him all, uh, around kids. But other than that, he's a pretty solid dog. He'll do whatever you ask him to do. He's eager to please. He's eager to work with you. Um, super friendly as far as uh, adults and other dogs go. Um, and he's pretty confident about who he is <laughs> and uh, and where he is. So. So I'm just going to let him keep walking. He's going to do probably, since this is his first, first treadmill session in a while, he's going to do probably 20 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. 20 minutes. And then I'm going to stop him because I don't want his pads, the, his paw pads to, to crack or get brittle. So I'm going to gradually build up his tolerance to walking. Um, probably add 10 minutes every day that he starts walking. So today's going to be 20, tomorrow will be 30. And by next week, he'll be doing an hour. And I tend to max out an hour for the dogs. I don't want them walking any more than that because they do get exercise.
exercise during the day. They also play with each other. Some of them go on bike rides, run in beside me out there on the pavement. So for those dogs, I don't want to overwork their feet. You know, it's just like a, just like humans. You know, your feet get hurt. It, it, it's killer for a while, you know, and you have to walk on your feet. And dogs are the same way, but it's even harder on them because they don't have shoes or boots to protect them. So, yeah, so he's going to walk for about 20 minutes, and at the end, I'm going to give him my cue that I always give the dogs and say, all done, and they know I'm about to turn it off, and then they sit, I teach them this, an automatic sit when it goes off, and then they wait for my cue to tell them to get off. So I don't just turn it off and then just get to run free. They, they sit, they wait for the cue that they can get off the treadmill, and then I give it to them, and then they go about their way. Um, I always let my dogs use the bathroom after the treadmill because it gets their bowels and their, their bladder working. So just remember that. Um, but other than that, that's what we're doing. And that's how you introduce a treadmill to a dog. Uh, he's a pretty easy case. They're not always that easy. Um, but if you keep working with it and you put another dog's confidence level and trust in you, you can definitely work a dog through it. Um, I'm still working on Lennon. If you've been following Lennon's situation or story and her fear issues, I'm still working on her. We have yet to start the treadmill because I know how fearful she is and how hard it was just to get her to come to, to the treadmill, walk around the treadmill, get on top of it while it's still. But we're working on that. And I'll definitely be um, documenting that once I start getting her on the treadmill and actually turning it on. Because that's definitely going to be something to watch. So, thanks for tuning in. Uh, once again, I'm Cass with Mini Dog Training. We're located in Austin, Texas. And you can find us on Instagram, Periscope, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And thanks for tuning in. Bye.